Hello, on this video I will show you guys Fat Paint's advanced painting features. And I just start here by pressing the brush paint tool. And then you see here it will go, the content pa panel will open and I will go to the paint tab and in here I have all my painting options. And up here I have the color tool. So I can just pick here a color and I can paint. And I can go down here, I can, so you see here I'll, I'm working right now on the first palette. And I can change to another palette and I can pick and on this plate for example is set to erase so I will, I'm erasing here this palette is the one is the palette used by the erase tool and I go to a third palette on this palette I can paint with black so on different palettes you can have different options so you don't have to remember what you had before of color choices and stuff you just for each color you pick for each options you you work on a different palette. Okay, and um, here you, ha you will start the brush editor. On the brush editor, you have hundreds and hundreds of brushes that you can use. And what's really cool here is this part. Here you can change, for example, the brush clip art. So you can pick a different clip art. For example, this circle here. And I can paint with it. So any brushes in fat paint can be used, any, any clip arts in fat paint can be used as a brush. And let me make it a little bigger here. Take a different color. And let me go continue here. And what I want to do now is I want to give this some scattering. It spreads, when I paint it will spread the brush. So you see what it does when I paint now. It just spreads the whole thing. And I want to give it as well some color dynamics. So right now it will paint, paint a hand 100% between blue and black. It's pretty cool now. So you can easily paint something that looks really good just by picking some clip art as a brush and put in some some color dynamics and some scattering. You pick here a different brush chip shape. You can go up here, pick a different color, or change the size here so it makes it a little bit bigger when you paint. Instead, let me pick here some different colors. Add some orange there. That's it. orange instead. I think it's better than the blue. Let's see how this will look on a shoe. And to be correctly I should be painting on a different canvas size because I want to paint for a shoe and right now I'm using the canvas size for a t-shirt. Okay, and one more thing that you can do here is you can go to the layers, you can mess around with the colors, you can give some more contrast, for example, and saturation, 
then you can go back to the paint and if you want instead of applying this effect on the whole image I can go here I can pick here apply layer effects and color then it will go back to the original image before the effects and I can now paint on the effects you see so only the places that I paint will get the effect from before I can also pick here other paint modes like the blur to give it some blur for example and just undo this okay you can have different settings as on each palette okay now I'm going to show you guys how to paint with some clone painting so I press here the clone and I pick here my source image go in here I pick image that I really like I can pick here my source posi position and I can just paint and I can also set here the position to fixed so that when I paint it will just stay on that fixed position all the time but you still have you know the thing is here problem here is it is using here the color dynamics so I'm going to disable it right now otherwise the clone thing is not gonna work I can just, you know, put my position there. So the clone painting is really powerful. You can really create some cool things with it. You can go back in here, pick a different brush, and you can add this to your favorites. So you see here, here I have all my favorite brushes. And I can just go back in here and pick another brush and you know, apply scattering again so it's pretty cool I can go in here, I can say here my paint mode to saturation set the amount so you see when I paint it will have a little bit more saturation on, on the image and you can have here different palettes as well so I can have another palette I can have a second image and set the position to fixed again and here I can paint with this image right there So it's really really cool. The brush the, the clone paint feature is really cool. And you see here when I switch between the palettes, I can switch between my images. So this way you can you know, just switch really really fast between the, between different options. Okay, let's go back to regular paint and I can show you here that you can give you some more green for example so how we can make the whole thing more green alright guys that's it for now bye bye